that's a job laying the foundation. Amen. Amen. You can't quit from the telling either. Leave it half done. It's got to be all done. The house has to be built right. Amen. Preach on that. Right. That's right. Got to have that foundation right. Have that foundation. That's right. Well, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's all stand. Give Brother Bo Adams and Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. the goodness of God, don't Amen. you? That's right. I remember one time I preached a message for the JR come to me there a while ago when I heard the, I think it might have been you talking, you know, the, uh, about the praying for that person. You know, when we pray for somebody, we don't know what they're going to go through. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Everything I go through affects my whole family. That's right. right. And a lot of times it even affects the family in the church, don't it? It really does. Yeah. And, but I, I know God's able to help us, ain't it? Now, I was thinking about a message one time I preached come to me, how that uh, the way up sometimes is down, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. And sometimes God has to bring us off of the old high horse they say. Knock us down to get us yeah. to go up, don't That's you? Right. Don't you? That's what he does. Yeah. When John thought that I was going, I'm going to do my own thing. I know I'm good. I'm in good health. and i got my pocket full of money. I don't need to go down there and preach the word of God in heaven. But he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go my way. But you know what? And God had to bring him down. He took him all the way to the bottom of the sea. And guess where Jonah went? He had to look up. I will tell you a lot of times, uh, and we wonder why people are going through things. It's not because it's so, so much bad. Uh, and maybe God's trying to get them to turn up. Yeah, and on. I began to think about Paul, how that Paul was uh, had a pocket the full of letters of persecuting the church. Yeah. And this man yeah. had power, but guess what? And God said, well, boy, your days are coming, ain't ya? And when Paul was on that road to Damascus uh, to threatening the church, guess what God had to do? God had to get him down, didn't he? Where'd he go? He went yeah. down uh, to the earth and he began to holler, Lord, uh, uh, what would you have me to do? Yeah. You know what? Uh, uh, sometimes God's got to bring people down uh, uh, to get them to look up. Hey, yeah. I'm going to tell you, uh, we, when we pray, we need to say, Lord, whatever it takes, uh, like you were saying, uh, we don't need to begin to say, uh, uh, try to take them back out of the hands of God and say, Lord, uh, I didn't mean for this to happen. Uh, uh, leave it alone. Let yeah. God do what yeah. He wants to do. Yeah. 
A wet one's wrong, we put our hands in. Uh, our two cents in, it messes everything up. Uh, hey. But God knows what he's doing, don't you? Yeah. I mean, uh, please tonight, but God knows yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, this world may look bad, but guess what? Uh, if you're back in a church, pray a little bit harder. Are uh, yeah. uh, you praying harder now, will you? Uh, than you was last year, I am, ain't you? Yeah. Uh, I really want to get a hold of God when I pray. Uh, I want to be in the house of God every chance that I get uh, because I'm a looking up. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, how many are looking up to get out of here? Uh, they can holler all they want to. Uh, they can have plans to change everything in the world. But the Word of God will never be changed. Ain't that good to know? Yeah, Ain't it good to know that the Word of God will never be changed for me uh, or nobody else can change the Word of God? Uh, a Pope may take it and write it different, but guess what? It's still the same in our, in our hearts. Ain't it? Uh, I thank God to yeah. for a Word uh, that will never change change, Brother Wayne, no matter what they do, uh, what they say, or what they think, uh, uh, who's in the White House, or uh, uh, who's in the mansion, uh, it don't matter, does it? Uh, because God is still in control. Uh, and I tell you, God has got a people uh, ain't going to bow down to the people. I'm telling you, it's time that the church uh, uh, take a stand against the devil and say, uh, I'm going to bow to you did. Yeah. Those little fellas that got arrested the other day, they didn't bow down, did they? That's what God is wanting His people yeah. to do. It's a stand flat footed and look the devil eyeball to eyeball and say, I'm not bowing down. Yeah. They may come and take her Bible, they may even come and cut her tongue out. But guess what? We're on our way to heaven. Yeah. I don't need my tongue to go to heaven. Sometimes we need to get rid of that thing. Yeah. I tell you tonight, we are on our way to heaven and I'm glad to be on my way to heaven, ain't you? Amen. I fight powers of hell. I fight Brother uh, brother J.R. powers of hell all the time in our mind. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, we're wrestling against spirits, ain't we? Yeah. How many are wrestling against spirits? Yeah. Uh, but guess what? Uh, it's making me pray just a little bit harder in the chair. Yeah. It's making me dig just a little bit deeper. Uh, it's making me look up a whole lot more. Yeah. I tell you, tonight yeah. we are to be happy uh, to be in the house of God. I'm happy, I'm excited. I come looking for a good time in God. Yeah. I mean, come looking for a good time in the yeah. Lord. I, tell you, I love my God more than anything. I appreciate everybody that's here tonight. I really love you, but I love my God, don't you? Yeah. We got to love Him, Brother uh, and Brother JR, more than anything in our life, don't we? Yeah. We Amen, sure brother. do. Amen. And I tell you, He's one that will never leave us or forsake us. I love Him. Won't you give Him? Another hand. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you got your Bibles tonight, you want to read with me. Let's go to Second Corinthians chapter two. When you have it, say Amen, and we can get going. I had another message that I amen. I thought about preaching, but it seemed like God just keeps buying this and on my on in my spirit, so I'm gonna go with this. Second right. Corinthians chapter 2, and we'll start at verse 5. And the Bible says, But if any have caused grief, he had not grieved me, but in part that I may not overcharge you all. Sufficient to such a man is this punishment, which was inflicted on many, so that contrary wise you ought rather to forgive him. And comfort him, lest perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with overmuch sorrow. Wherefore, I beseech you that you would confirm your love toward him. For to this end also did I write that I might know the proof of you, whether you be obedient in all things. To whom ye forgive anything, I, forgave, I forgive also. For if I forgave anything to whom I forgave it, for your sake forgave I it in the person of Christ. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his device. Amen. Furthermore, when I came to Tyrus to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord, 
I had no rest in my spirit because I found not Titus, my brother, but taking my leave of them when I went thence into Macedonia. And I, 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 y'all can be seated if you want and give me a hand clap. <coughs> But I want us to look at verse 11. Verse 11, the Bible said, Let Satan should get an advantage of us. And here's what I want to use for a text. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Amen. And I looked the word device up, and the word uh, device means a plan or scheme. <coughs> A plan or scheme. Yeah. Come on, brother. And I want to use for a subject tonight, just for a little while, bear with me. And I want to use for a subject on devil, we are not ignorant as you think. Amen. Come on. But I believe today that we really need to be wise. Don't Come you? On. The Bible said be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Hey, yeah. Now, until yeah. Now, yeah. And I, I got to thinking how no, uh, no snake, you know, he'll lay there, uh, he'll lay in a place for maybe for hours and hours and maybe days uh, just to watch him for something. Yeah. He's camouflaged yeah. and, 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 and a no copperhead, if he's in the leaves, you won't never hardly see him. You know, even oh. though you're looking for him, you won't hardly be able to see him because... Uh, because he is uh, he is camouflaged, ain't he? That's right. And, and he'll lay right there, Brother J.R., and he won't move, he won't do nothing until he gets what he wants, right where he wants it, ain't right. he? take away the devil's a doing a lot of uh, people today. The devil is in no hurry uh, to deceive you and me. He ain't in no hurry. Uh, but he knows if we if, if he can get us to follow after one little thing, uh, uh, the, take that bait. He knows that eventually that that we're going to be caught in a snare. Ain't he? Right, he right. is a slick little fella, ain't he? The Bible said that he's more cunning uh, than any beast of the field. And I begin to think, you know, a lot of times uh, uh, we'll take the devil for granted. We'll think that uh, that that we can now smart him. We think that we can now slick him. But listen, we're talking about somebody here that's a master, ain't he? Uh, right. He's a master of the scheme. He's a master of lies. Uh, he's a master that 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 he. Is. Very cunning in what he does, ain't he? Yeah. I begin to see in the Word of God how that he come up against a, a lot of people and he deceived a lot of people. But I'm going to tell you tonight uh, that we are not ignorant to Satan's devices, are we? Uh, yeah. uh, we need to let the devil know, devil, I'm not ignorant uh, oh. as you think I am because yeah. uh, I believe tonight if we can get the Word of God and begin to read it uh, and begin to pray in the Spirit and the Holy Ghost, uh, yeah. I'm going to tell you the Holy Ghost will reveal him, won't it? tonight that we need uh, the baptism of the Holy Ghost uh, yeah. in the midst of uh, our meetings, don't you? Uh, yeah. Because Brother J.R., it's a leader. Uh, the Bible said it's a guide and leading guys uh, in the all truth of God's Word. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what we need in our lives more than anything. Uh, I need the Holy Ghost uh, more than I need uh, an automobile to drive to work. Really, I do. Uh, I need the Holy Ghost uh, more than I need my home uh, because it's going to get me out of here. It's going to let me see what the devil's doing. It's going to show me what he's planning what to do to you and I. Now the day they're saying they ain't no need. ain't no need to talk and pray for the Holy Ghost because when you come to the altar, you'll get the Holy Ghost. But I'm going to tell you, church, tonight, the devil, I'm not as dumb as he thinks I am or you. I believe tonight that we need the Holy Ghost in our life more or do we need anything else? Oh, so, uh, I'm not uh, talking about uh, the Holy Ghost uh, that won't speak in tongues. Uh, the devil's got a thing going uh, to the country today, Brother J.R. Uh, but you don't have to have the Holy Ghost uh, to make it to heaven. Uh, I'm not a dumb uh, as he thinks I am. Uh, we're not an ignorant uh, as the devil thinks we are. Uh, just tonight, listen, uh, we've got to have uh, the thing that's called uh, the Holy Ghost. Uh, and he told Peter and the disciples to go and tarry in the city of Jerusalem, did he not? Until you be endured with power from on high. What did they do? They went in that upper room and burned the jail. They prayed. And they sought the face of God. And they was in that upper room because 
they were waiting on something uh, that they never had. Amen. I'm going to tell you tonight, uh, this world's messed up. Uh, but when they come out of that upper room, uh, they didn't come out of sound. Uh, they didn't come out of uh, saying, uh, I've got the Holy Ghost. Uh, when they come out of there, uh, the world knew that they had. Uh, how did the world uh, know that they had it? Uh, they were just speaking in yeah. other tongues. Uh, listen, I'm not a dumb as the devil uh, thinks we are. Uh, we got to have it uh, the way it come back come on. on the day of Pentecost. Come on, Amen. 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 I tell you today, yeah. that the scheme of going through the land today, uh, that you don't have to have the Holy Ghost to make it. Uh, you don't have to speak in tongues uh, to have the Holy Ghost. Uh, Had you hear that? Uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, the devil went through this country for years and years uh, saying, uh, you don't have to bear the name of Jesus. Uh, you don't have to be baptized in his name. Uh, but every time I open up that book, uh, and guess who I see? Uh, I don't see myself. Uh, I see uh, of the mighty name of Jesus yeah, yeah. from Genesis uh, throughout Revelation. Yeah. And the bit of that word is Jesus saying, yeah, yeah. And the devil don't like that name because uh, there's life in that name. Uh -huh. uh, there's healing in the name. Uh -huh. uh, there's deliverance in the name of yeah. Jesus. Uh, and listen, uh, I'm not as dumb as the devil thinks I am. Uh, I may not have uh, a high school diploma. Uh -huh. I may not have degrees hanging on my wall. Uh, but guess what, devil? Uh, I've got what come back on yeah. the day of Most of all, is to keep my big mouth shut when I don't need to speak. Just enough to tell, I don't want us to be what the Bible tells us to be. Come on, man. Come on, brother. They stayed with throughout the land for years and thousands of years. Come back in the day uh, and when Jesus left the world uh, and let this serve the devil say uh, they ain't you don't have to bow down to the name of Jesus. Uh, but listen, uh, if we get anything at all, uh, it's not going to come through Muhammad. Uh, it ain't going to come through Buddha. Uh, it's going to come through uh, by the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, listen, uh, we need to tell the devil, uh, the devil I'm not as ignorant uh, as you think I am. Uh, I may look like a nun. Uh, but I know one thing for sure. I know who my God is. I know who the Savior of the world is, don't you? And the devil don't like the name of Jesus. He don't want you to go down in that name. But listen, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. These people, disciples, they were beat, they were stoned, they were killed. Like Sister Pam was reading earlier. All this. Just because of the name of Jesus. I tell you, I don't know about you, but that name excites me, don't you? I don't have to get up in the morning worrying about praying to the Father. I don't have to worry about getting up praying to the Son. But when I call on the name of Jesus, I'm a call on the Father. I'm a call on the Son. I'm a call on the Son. That's why our little church is, uh, is put down and ridiculed. Uh, but listen, uh, I'm on my way to heaven, ain't you? Uh, I'm not as ignorant as the devil oh, think yeah. I am. Uh, I'm not going after a crowd. Uh, I'm not worried about a crowd. Uh, all I'm worried about uh, is getting what the truth is. Uh, the Bible said, uh, you shall know the truth, uh, and the truth shall, uh, it shall make you free. Uh, is anybody free uh, in the house of God? Free yeah. and cheer. Let me call on Jesus. Yeah. It's the reason that we can be here today. I feel what we feel. I can be free. I'm not on the bondage no more. But the devil don't have a control of my mind. Because I'm a follower for his kids. His name has been persecuted. Yeah. They fought the name ever since. That Jesus had left, can't he? And they're still fighting it today. Yes. But now the devil's, he's done got 
He's done got the bigger majority of this world against the name. And now they think that you don't have to be baptized in his name. And now it's all right to go down. Jesus said, go down in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And that's the one we're going to stick with. They done missed the revelation. The devil done blinded their eyes. And I'm going to tell you, the Father ain't a name. The Son ain't a name. Yeah. How many sons do we have in the building tonight? If God was to say, come here, son, who's going to get up and come to the honor? If he was say, come here, father, how many is going to get up and come to the honor? But listen, there's a name that's above every name. Yeah. That name is Jesus. Jesus. When I come the way, you ain't going to get up. I tell you tonight, the day will come too late. Jesus, uh, because uh, I've done read in the book, uh, there's victory in that name. Yes, sir. Amen. That's going to get me out of hell. Yeah. I'm going to take you a, a, a big step way out of hell, Lord. Uh, yeah. That name been called Brother J.R. Uh, for thousands of years. Uh, but thank God tonight, uh, I'm not as ignorant as the devil thinks I am. Uh, the world, uh, the biggest majority of the churches, uh, they fight against that name. They uh, say you don't have to be baptized in that name. Uh, but what did Peter say? Uh, Peter said, repent. Uh, and be baptized all of you uh, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Peter won the false he was one of the pillars of the church. Oh my God. But Jesus looked at him. I said, Peter, the flesh and blood ain't revealed this unto you. But guess who? My father, Jesus, has revealed this to you. That's why we need the Holy Ghost to reveal the Word of God to you and I. And we can look at the devil and say, I'm not as ignorant as you think I am, devil. I know who he is. I know his name, don't you? I'm glad to be called by his mighty name. Yeah. They fought that name for, for years and years and still find it. Yeah. The devil took the seed of the majority of the world with that. But there's a few that's called the red in the sea that's not going to bow to the devil. That's going to look at him and say, I'm not as ignorant as you think I am, devil. I know who my God is. I'm going to tell you. But tonight, when then we come out with another little scheme to say, you don't have to have the Holy Ghost to make it to heaven. But listen, prove me wrong. The Bible said that Christ, the Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, if it dwells in you, it shall also do what? A quicken your mortal body. Yeah. We are going to quicken us from the way. And now, right now, we may lay me to grave. But when that trumpet sail, oh. guess what? That spirit's going to call. Yeah. Go back into that body. That's been laying on the mountain for you. Yeah. It's going to quicken us. It's going to bring us back to life. I tell you, I ain't the dumbest that the devil takes on him in you. I know I'm going to have it. I can't get this world without her. I'm going to have her. I'm not talking about the water. They come back on the day of Pentecost. And when they come out of that upper room, they were able to speak in an unknown tongue. Come on. Preach it. They were to speak. Oh, you don't have to speak in tongues now, the devil said. He's going to see the world with the name. You don't have to have it. He was accomplished it. With thousands and thousands and thousands of, of big name preachers, too. I'm not talking about that's got hundreds and thousands in their church. He's done to see that pastor and look at all the people that he's deceiving through that pastor. I'm going to tell you, that's why we need a little preacher that's got a anointing in his life, that's been called and ordained by Jesus. And that's the ones that we need. And that's the kind that we need. And we don't need somebody to say, uh, it don't matter how you've been baptized. Uh, I guess it does matter how you have uh, been baptized. Uh, the devil's trying to shut uh, uh, shut the Jesus name preachers down. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, he ain't shut me down easy yet. Uh, I know who my God is. Uh, if I can't preach Jesus, uh, I'll not preach nothing. Uh, because uh, Jesus is everything. Uh, I thank you, don't you, uh, for being my God. Say you don't have to speak in tongues no more. 
That was a night. That, 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 when the apostles left, that's a lie. That's a lie from the pits of hell. And Brother Wayne, we better have it just like they did on the day of Pentecost. And the devil knows that he's got but just a short time to work. That's why he's trying to deceive everybody that he can. That's why he's deceiving the preachers that's got thousands under their voice. And because he knows if that pastor will preach, you don't have to have the Holy Ghost. And guess what the congregation's going to do? And my pastor preached to me. I don't have to have the Holy Ghost. Now listen, you better get in that word right there. And you better find out who is telling you the truth. Oh, they worried about you. But they want to line their pockets, ain't they? But thank God tonight that somebody is going to tell us the truth. And it's going to hurry and tell. I got the devil's number, but Sister Pam. I'm not going to let him shut me down if I can't preach. But the name of Jesus, I'm being baptized in the Holy Ghost. I'll leave that church and I'll never walk in it again. Because Jesus is right. I'm speaking in tongues is right. Amen. When Jesus put Adam and Eve in the garden, he said, now the tree in the midst of the garden, I don't want you to touch it. I don't want you to eat of that fruit. And the Bible says that Eve saw that the tree was pleasant to the eye. Uh -huh. It was good for fruit. Amen. It was good for food. And guess what? <laughs> Here comes the devil. Yes. Here he comes. You think the devil went on your trail? Set your mind out you're going to do something for God. Yes. And the Bible says and that the devil come and told her and said, I said the day that you eat of that tree you shall not surely die. And get what the Bible says? Yes. That's what the Bible says. But see, he was cunning. He knows how to word everything, don't he? He knows how to place the words and when to place them and everything. And the Bible says that he told her, he said, the day that the Lord knows the day that you eat of that tree, that your eyes is going to be open. And guess what? You're going to be as God. And you're going to know evil from good, didn't he? That's what he told her. What did the devil do right there? He come in with a slip extreme and she was ignorant of the devil's devices and the Bible said that Eve was to see and she went and see her husband and then she not but thank God tonight I'm not going to eat of this any old thing of year if you need the word of God I'm going to let her go I'm going to die all year I'm not an ignorant of the devil thinks I am I don't care what they say they can get up and prophesy over me yea I say that's what you're doing. And God said, if you'll pay a thousand dollars to me, are you going to have the home that you are dreaming of? That's a lie. But the devil to see in the world. I'm going to tell you, if you'll give your heart to God, the power right to the word, he's going to give you a mansion. He's going to give you a street that pay with gold. But that's tonight. But for the real power of the Holy Ghost that the leading God does in the path of righteousness. Amen. He was to see. Watch this. Yes, you were. The devil planned this. He knew that. He knew that she wasn't allowed to touch that tree or eat of that fruit. But he come in and he said, You shall not surely die. Ain't it like the devil saying today? You don't have to have the Holy Ghost. And you don't have to speak in tongues. You don't have to. I guess I got to if I'm going to make it to heaven. Or not. How many knows you got to if you're going to make it the world don't lie? Not this kind of preaching, but it's a kind that will save the world. The brother Wayne tonight. Oh, we're living in a rebellious time where they're saying and that preacher don't tell me what to do. He ain't my boss. But listen, when I mean, God sent a prophet through, and they better take heed to the word of God. And when John went into that city, the preacher to a hundred and twenty thousand people, and what if they would have said, and that little scrum bum ain't gonna tell me what to do. And you know what would have happened to them? And they would have burned up in that city. And they because but they took heed to the man, the voice of God, and God delivered them, didn't he? I'm gonna tell you, and why are we they're living in a such a country of rebellious. Amen. It's because they won't receive the word. That's it. Right. 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 Amen. Amen. I don't care what they do. I don't care what they say. They ain't never going to get back 
good until they get back in the book. That's when it's going to turn around. That's when the world's going to turn around. Joe Biden ain't going to turn around. Trump ain't going to turn around. I'm going to tell you what's going to turn around. When they get back on their knees, they the Lord. They say, God, give me that old time. The Holy Ghost. But they will soothe my soul. I'm going to tell you, that's what we need. We need to take a trip back to the altar. We need to stay right there until we get a refreshing. And I'm talking about a tongue talking refreshing that will help us to be renewed in the Spirit of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're living in an awful time. Amen. It's a looking bad for the world, ain't it? But guess what? It's a looking good for the church. And it ain't looking bad to me. It's a looking good to me, ain't you? It's a looking like I'm fixing to get out of here someday. I'm not very well now. But that's why I'm going to stay in tune with the Word of God. That's why I'm going to have a word from God. But church, listen. And God is a coming. And we better be ready. Or we're going to be left behind. Amen. I tell you, hell ain't my vision. Heaven my vision and enjoy of the devil. He's a deceiving many to this little vain word. But we need the word of God now more than ever. But when God began to speak to Cain and Abel, the devil had a jealous spirit to come up on Cain because, because God accepted the sacrifice of Abel, didn't he? A jealous spirit rose upon Cain. What was that? That was the spirit out of hell. That was the devil got a hold of Cain and caused him to murder his brother. How much murder is going on in the house of God today? There's a whole lot going on there. I don't have to take a gun to kill you, Brother Jehovah. No. I can kill you with my words. We can kill one another with words. When that word needs that mouth, you can't take it back. You just can't take it back. You may go and say, I'm sorry for saying that. But listen, you cannot take the word back. If don't let your mouth hit them without doing this damage. But I want to be able to give you a word that will help you. Not to tear you down, but to lift you up. And cause you to seek the face of the living God. A church tonight, we're not ignorant as the devil thinks we are. We don't have to have a house full to have a good meeting, do we? And if you agree with me tonight, we can have a good time. I'm wise, ain't you? I'm wise. I'm a watcher. I'm a listener. I'm a praying. I'm a seeking the face of God. I'm a trying to be in the house of God every time that I get a chance. Because I need a word, don't you? That's going to help me. But then what the devil, I tell you, I'm not a dummy. I'm not a dummy as you think I am, devil. I know who my God is. I know what he's able to do. I know who he is. I know he can heal all things. I know his name is a name above everything that they are in this world we're in today. Amen. I don't care what kind of name you come up with. You'll never come up with one that will overtake the name of Jesus. Right. Amen. Never. Amen. Never. 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 God ain't going to share his throne with another. No, is that's right. That's right. That's what the Bible says? Right. Jesus ain't going to share his throne with another. They ain't two of her. Amen. And only one, ain't he? Amen. They ain't but one Lord. Amen. One faith and one baptism. How much painter does it need to get? And when they say we're going to do what Jesus said, Peter baptized the way that Jesus told him did. And the Bible says, and when Jesus looked at it, I said, I want you to go to preach the gospel to every creature. I want you to baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And that was Peter, a false prophet. I had to Peter baptized in Acts two thirty eight. He said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you. And the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Ain't that what the Bible says? That's what the world's missing. They're going down in a title 
but they don't even know who your daddy is. But they don't even know their father. I tell you, I know my father don't care. I know who he is. And the devil's come too late. I know the same as he thinks I am. I got the same revelation that Peter called don't you. I mean, Peter went out. He took him down. He took him down in that name, didn't he? He took him down in the name of Jesus. I'm glad I went down in the name of Jesus. I'm not ashamed. If Jesus' name is wrong, I'm willing to burn in hell because I know it ain't wrong. I know it's right. But the devil ain't come. He come too late to deceive me on the name. Amen. I'll never change from that name. Will you? Amen. Amen. I'll never stop preaching the name of Jesus. Never. Never. You don't have to preach that every night. Yes, you do. You don't have to preach that every time you get an appointment to go and preach. I can't help from preaching Jesus. Right, All of us, Jesus. Can't you have a word in there, Jesus? I'm going to tell you, I'm glad I can stand today and preach a Jesus gospel to a dying world, to a backsliding world. Ain't nothing going to save them but the name of Jesus. And the devil's, I'm not as ignorant as he thinks I am. If I get a point, I've got to mention Jesus some words in. I need the word. I've got to tell some Somebody that Jesus is real. He's alive. He said, destroy this temple. In three days, I'll raise it up. And guess what? That's the third day, the death had to give him up. Yeah. He come out that tomb of walking. He's a God Almighty. Yeah. You can't shut up God. You can't stop the power of the Holy Ghost. And they tried to burn it up in a furnace. And they couldn't do it. And they tried to put it in a lion's den. But that didn't work either. I'm going to I tell you, the devil's still here. I'm trying to do away with that name. But I'm telling the devil a good thing tonight. As long as they breath in my body, I'm going to preach Jesus. Thank you. I'm going to let the world know that we make it out of here. It's going to be through and by the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He's good to me. I love him. Amen. I love him, don't you? Amen. I'm going to tell you, I come out with I come out of a Trinity church. Uh -huh. I didn't know a thing about this gospel. Didn't want to know nothing about it. Wouldn't have nothing to do with it. I was right. My pastor was right. I listened to him. I tell you, Brother J.R., but when God really got a hold of me and rattled my cage, and when I fell in at that altar one night, I began to pray. I begin to say, God, I gotta know myself. It comes a time that we gotta know for ourselves. If you don't take my word and get in the word and pray, and I guarantee God will show you what it. I begin to pray. I begin to say, God, I gotta know. I got to have the real thing. I don't wanna die and go to hell. Show me who you are. I'm gonna tell you. The way God shows you who He is, you ain't. You will never change from that revelation. I can see Jesus, can't you? From Genesis to Revelation, that's plain as I'm looking at you. I think the devil give me that revelation. But no, he wanted to keep me in that Trinity church. He wanted me to believe that they was three. And I thank God tonight, the scales was knocked off of my eyes. And I see Jesus. I thank my God for the revelation of the power of the Holy Ghost. The church is real. It's alive. It's it's not dead. And the devil can't stop us. But the, what we've got to do is have our mind made up. Amen. I'm not going to let the devil deceive me or you. He's a deceiver. He is, brother. Come on. Preach. He's one that's cunning. Preach you, He's more crafty than any beast of the field. God give us power over the devil. Yeah, he did. He give us power over all the powers oh, of the enemy. Come on, That's right. Right. Tell what your Bible says. That's, That's what my Bible says. Bible says. Yes, so when the devil comes around, I don't have to listen to him. I'm not as ignorant as he thinks I am. Amen. I don't know something. Guess who I go to? I go to my big brother, don't you? Amen. What's his name? You know your big brother's name. Jesus. His name is Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you tonight, he's a, he's a good brother to me. He's everything to me. He's my mommy. He's my daddy. He's my brother. He's my sister. He's my life giver. He's my healer. He's my healer. But to now, Jesus is everything that I need. I don't need another God. If they 
up and up and up. I was still yet, praise Jesus, one year. But I thank God tonight. I know there ain't no more up there but him. And he's going to come back from the church that's called by his name. He's got a people that loves him. I didn't have no intention of preaching this message this away. But God knows what he's doing, don't he? He's real. Do you believe that God's real tonight? I know that my God is real. He's Jehovah. He's Jireh. He's the rock that followed the children of Israel. And through the will of say, he was everything. His name was revealed in the Old Testament. But thank God, it was revealed to you and I. I thank God tonight. And they desire to have my your day. But thank God, God loved us. He said, no, I'm going to give it to them. I love him for that, don't you? And my God is real. And he's alive forevermore. And he lives on the inside of me. Have a song when they would the word. They need an honor. Don't That's they? right. Come on. Amen. Good. I love good singing. I love good shouting. But I need the word more than I need it. I need to hear it from God, don't you? You mean preacher, you gotta hear from God. I gotta eat too. I gotta have a word too. I need word too, don't you, brother JR? I don't care how big we get or how little we are. We all got to eat, don't we? We got to eat, or if we don't eat, we'll die, won't we? I tell you tonight, we've been through hell in the last few weeks, but guess what? I'm still you to Jesus now. I'm not going to shut down preaching Jesus. I'm not going to stop preaching about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to tell you, church, it ain't never word that you go that they want and to hear this kind of preaching. And they won't have it. And they think you lost your mind. And they think that's all you know. Well, it is all I know. And because he's everything. And my God is real. He's alive. Ain't your God real? But to you, I'm not ashamed to tell the world that Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. Yes, he is. Yes. He's real and he's alive, ain't he? He's able to keep every one of us. Amen, yes. When David went out on the king's roof, this was a man after God's own heart. Uh -huh. What? He was a man after God's own heart. And the devil slipped right in our arms. Yes. That's why we got to pray, don't we seek God every day? That's why we got to keep our mind upon God. That's why we got to go to the Word and sit and meditate upon the Word of God. I don't get to read the Word every day, Brother J.R., but I meditate upon the Word every day of my life. Sometimes I spend hours thinking upon the Scriptures. Sometimes I spend maybe a half a day sitting around thinking about the, the Word of God. But Daniel was a man after God's own heart. I tell you, we still get in this fleshly body. I don't care how high we get. We're going to fight the devil, ain't we? How many believe that tonight? We're still going to fight the devil, but we're not ignorant to his devices, are we? This man was after God's own heart. He went upon the cane drew, and guess what he done? The devil got him to look in the wrong direction, did he? And guess what he seen? He seen a woman washing herself, and the Bible said that he sent for her. I'm not talking about a man after God's heart now. How close are we to God? I can't read the are we going to be ignorant to say it to us? I'm telling you, it's going to take something to make it this day and time. It's going to take a prayer line a straight to the glory of heaven. It's going to take a walk with God to help us to deny this whole flesh. I can't deny without the power of the Holy Ghost. I cannot deny my flesh without the Word of God. That's why it's important that we have a word from God and that we can, be, that we can deny this old man. And they the gutter in his heart. He sent after a man's wife. He had the man killed, didn't he know? You think the devil again plan this scheme up on him? If God was to show me and you right now what the devil had schemed for you and I, I wonder what we would do. Come on, bro. Amen. Right. We'd yeah. probably pray hard on Oh, man. yes. We oh, probably yes. would pray harder now than what we did last night. Amen. Amen. But David got this woman in his heart. Because she looked good to him. Yeah. It's true, it's about what do we see with that? Bible said I was in this world, mm -hmm. 
He said, lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. So church, listen, we're in this fleshly body. We ain't made it yet, have we? When we get that glorified body, we can say we made it, can't we? That's when we can say, devil, I defeated you. I I'm telling you, how we still can defeat the devil. That's why that we gotta kill this man every day, don't we? And we gotta kill him, Brother J.R., every day. I tell you what, if you think I'm not telling you the truth, shut your Bible up for a week and don't pray for a week. And block God out of your mind for a week and think upon the devil. And I can promise you one thing. You'll come back to me and you'll say, Preacher, I'm a fine offer spirits that I've ever fallen in my life. I'm telling you, that's where we're living at. Somebody uh, take a gun uh, and blow their brains out. It's because the devil is working on them. Uh, he's got a scheme. Uh, we're not ignorant to save devices. Uh, but they don't let the devil lure him into a trap uh, and cause him uh, of grief and sorrow and pain. Uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, the Bible said the devil come, uh, but to kill, to steal, and destroy. Uh, so don't buddy up with the devil. Uh, and don't let him cause you uh, to be his buddy uh, because he's got a scheme uh, that he's working up for you. He's got a device that he's trying to lure you in. That he can destroy your life. If he can control your mind, he's got the rest of you. And did you hear me tonight? That's why we got to put on the mind of Christ. That's why we got to keep that him with a salvation on. Because the devil, he's slick, he's cunning. He's more cunning than any beast of the field. And we take him for granted. I'm going to tell you that if Samson would have been wise, to the Lord and not eager to save the masses. He would have never died a blind man, would he? But I thank God tonight that God is still going to turn. That's going to stand upon his word. That's going to let the devil know that we're not ignorant to his devices. I thank my God tonight for the real power of the Holy Ghost that leads and guides me. My sister Pam is a comforter to me. It tells me when I should go and when I should stay. It tells me all kinds of things, don't you? It shows me these spirits that we're wrestling against. It reveals spirits to you. I'm right in the house of God wanting. I thank God tonight for the real thing that's called the Holy Ghost that will help us. Amen. Something that the world don't want. And a lot of them won't even have it. Amen. Why won't they have it? Because he'd have called you to come out from among the world. Amen. He'd have cleaned us up. Right. He'd have set us aside. He'd have set you apart from the world. Yeah. He'd have given you a love for his word that you never thought that you would ever have. I thank God, don't you? I'm a Jesus man, ain't you? I'm a tongue talker, a holy roller, ain't you? I'm not ashamed of you. I'm going to roll me to heaven, and I would walk in the hell. I'm dead with you in hell. I'm not as ignorant as you think I am. I know that he's real, ain't he? Amen. He's real, ain't he? He's the God that's alive, ain't he? Amen. He's the God that's coming back, can't he? Do you believe that tonight that God is coming back? I'm ready, ain't you? Amen. Can you raise your hand? And say, Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready to get out of here. I've been born again of the water and of the spirit. And I've got his word on the inside. And I've got his name in my heart. I'm ready to go, ain't you? I thank God tonight, Brother J.R. That God has got a people that's going to stand for him. That's not going to back down. No matter what to do. Will do. Uh, they, uh, they crucified old Peter upside down. Uh, but Peter said uh, he was glad uh, that they was kind of worthy to suffer for his name. Yes. Right. We don't want to go through nothing, do we? Come on. We think because somebody says something about us, get the tires plumb down. Yeah. We'll say, Lord, why did he ever say it about poor old me? Yeah. Poor on me, poor on me. Yeah. That's what they say. Come on, brother. He ain't poor on me. <laughs> and the devil's after. He's after what's in us. That's right. If he can get that out of you, if he can get God's spirit out of you, and get God's word out of you, and get you out under the cover of that name, he's got you. That's right. He's got you. He's got you wrapped up. He's got you bound down. 
You can't make it. No matter what you do, you can't make it. That's why we got to have him there. Ain't that what the Bible said that he told him? He said, go and carry you in the city of Jerusalem until what? Until the promise comes upon you. He said, until you be in due. What's in due? It's on the inside hand. And Brother J. R. when I was saved, I had a portion of the Spirit upon me. It was a help of me. But listen, when he come into the house, he come in and he baptized me. What did he do? He filled me up, did he? It run out. It run all the way down to my feet. I'm going to tell you, I thank God tonight for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We've got to be baptized in the door. A baptizing is being submerged in. I'm telling you, that's what we need. Back in the house of God, I quit listening to the lies of the devil. I'm telling you, sure God give us a portion to where we can get filled. But listen, I I want to be filled, don't you? I want what they had on the day of Pentecost. Yeah. It comes with speaking. I don't have to have my wife to run me under the neck and say, repeat after me. Because of the God that I serve yeah. the life. And when he comes down me, it's like a river. And then he's saying it would be like a, a river flowing down of your belly. I'm telling you, I don't know that experience, don't you? And you can't stop a river. I'm going to tell you tonight. And that's what I'm it can need. It needs to get back to the order. It needs to repent of this evil. And I'm going to tell you that then we may have a, a better place to live. Amen. But Murray could be blessed hand over fist. Yeah. Yeah. Still wanted. You can take a handful of corn, paint it over on that mountain, he'll come up on it. Yeah. You can take a handful of corn and plant it in Saudi Arabia, it'll die right there on the ground. That land has been cursed. By the word of God. Come on. I know uh, I know they don't want to hear this. But that rebellious nations. The Bible said the people and the nation that forgets me, guess what? This is Bible. He said, I will turn them into hell. Ain't that what them countries been done over there? And because they refuse the word of God. And they refuse the name of God. And why is America going downhill with a spiral? It's because they turned their back on the word of God. And now it's all right for the homosexual and to get in a pulpit until you have a lid. That's a lie. That's a scheme out of hell. And the devil's come too late. He I'm not and the same devices are you. I love them. If I could put my arm around and save every one of them, I would. But tell you what it's going to take. It's going to take down the hunt and honor a repent before God and say, God, I need deliverance from this spirit. We need to call them like it is. The devil's alive. And it's okay for them to get married. It's all right for a woman to be with a woman, a man with a man. You better not say nothing against it. They'll lock you up. They'll lock you up for saying something against it. But when you speak the name of Jesus, they'll kill you over that name. They don't want you to even mention that name. I'm telling you, we're living in them evil days, heaven. We're living in a day of trouble. We're living in a time that where the devil don't want the name of Jesus mentioned in nothing. Not, not nothing, not even no more in prayer. I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to let the devil shut me up for you. He may come down to it, but the word they may shut us down. But guess what? We may have to get us somewhere up in a holler mountain. That's all right with me. I'm still going to praise my God, ain't you? I ain't let the devil keep me in a scheme and cause me to turn my back on my God. He's been too good to me. It's God been good to anybody. I want the devil to know I'm not ignorant of his devices. I'm going to love it. I'm going to praise my God each you every morning I get a chance. Every night before I go to bed, I've got to thank my God. I praise him. Thank you, Jesus. He's able to keep us, ain't he? He's a keeper. He'll keep us if we're late in the morning. Amen. I believe that. I really do. I believe that we need more preaching now on the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name than ever before. Amen. Amen. I know we need it. Brother, brother, J.R., the devil don't like that message. No, he don't. Sometimes I hear the devil saying, you don't have to preach on Jesus' name so much. 
Mm -hmm. I got to. That's right. Why? It's in here. That's right. It's in here. What's in here is going to come out here, ain't it? If I put more of the devil in here, you're going to hear more of the devil speaking at you. You want to know what people's listening to and what they got in them? Get them started talking. Yeah. What comes out, that's what they're feeding at. That's what they're feeding at. That's, that's, the, that's the one that they're taking care of. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, we need to hear more of Jesus preaching now than we ever did in our Amen. life. Huh? That's what's going to turn America around. Huh? It's Jesus' name preaching. Huh? I'm going to tell you, the devil don't want none of us to go to heaven. Huh? He don't want nobody to be saved. Huh? But I'm saved that year. Huh? I thank my God tonight huh? that I am a born-again believer. Huh? I'm not ignorant as the devil thinks I am. Amen. I may look at me. I may not be the sharpest pencil in the box, but I want to tell the devil one thing. I'm going to write Jesus at you on my wall. Amen. I'm going to let him know I know who my God is. I trust him now. Lift up his name. I don't be ashamed in Walmart to tell somebody that Jesus is the way out of here. Thank you. He's the way out of here. I thank him, don't you? Oh, what a God that we had that gave us that mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He gave us his name, didn't he? Yes, it is. I'm proud of it. Me too. I'm proud of that mighty name of Jesus. Me too. Church tonight, I love you, don't you? I'm glad to be called by his name. Right. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm telling you, I'm not ashamed of it. No matter how much the devil fights that name, it makes me want to lift it up that much higher. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. saying you don't have to preach so much on the Holy Ghost, that makes me want to get in there and get me another message. Don't you? Amen. Not the That's Holy right. Ghost. I'm going to learn him about picking on me and you. If he tells me not to preach Jesus, that's the very thing I'm going to preach and you. If he tells me not to love my neighbor, that's the one I'm going to love and you. I'm going to tell you, that's the way that we got to be. If I love Jesus, I'm going to love you. And if I love Jesus, I'm going to love his word too. Man. I tell you, we're not the ignorant as the devil thinks that we are. I love you more than anything in my life, don't you? Amen. What a Jesus he is. Come on, brother. He's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hey. Yeah. He was called many things in the Bible. He was called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Life. Dwayne. He was called everything. But that wasn't his name. Nope. Nope. Come on. That still wasn't his name. Nope. He was called all kinds of things. Emmanuel. He was called Emmanuel. What? The he door. was called Lord. Yeah. He was called God. Amen. You know God is uh, ain't a name. God is what he was. That's right. That's right. You know what his name is? Jesus. Does anybody know his name? Jesus. Jesus is his name. Man. I'm proud to be Jesus. Ain't you? Yes. I'm glad to have that blood uh, running through my veins. Thank That's what you. makes me uh, different from the world. That royal blood. Amen. That royal priesthood. He said we're a holy nation, didn't he? We're a royal priesthood. I just don't eat anything to you. I'm not going to eat that three doctrine God. That's poison, ain't I? I want something that's right. I'm a very picky eater, ain't you? And when I come to the house of God, I'm not going to just let the devil put anything in my spirit. I don't want nothing but the word, don't you? That's what purifies us, ain't I? That's what keeps us on the right track. That's what gives us a good shot of the Holy Ghost and knowing word. That's the antidote, saying for her mind. That helps her mind to thank God. Right. It helps your mind uh, to do right. Uh, thank God tonight for the real Holy Ghost. Amen. The real power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God good to us. Yeah. He's, good. He's good to us, ain't he? Amen. Lord, I had so much more. Bless the Lord. I had so much more. I didn't even get to scratch the surface. Well, we got more time. But I love God. Jesus. He's able to help us, ain't he? Amen. Yeah. I'm excited about Jesus. Come on, brother. I'm excited about him. He makes me excited and cheer. Yeah. If Jesus don't excite me, brother Jr. There's something wrong. That's why. that's why I got to. That's why I got to have him, but you. I'm addicted to his word. Yes. I got to have his word. Amen. If I go to the church and they don't give me a word from God, I don't want to go back to you. I don't want to go back to that restaurant that don't don't take care of me and give me what I want. I don't go to church and listen to a fairy tale to hear. I don't go to church to hear somebody talk about uh, about some kind of a joke. I go to get a word from God. Don't you? That's what America needs. Uh, they've got comedians in behind the pulpit. But what's the wrong with the congregation. Uh, they're sick. They're weakly. Uh, they're, they're weak. They don't even know who God is. Uh, but give me a preacher that's got anointing 
And that's where I want to go. Amen. That's what I want, don't you, is an honored word from God. Amen. I appreciate it. I love you all. I appreciate you for, for your time. Thank you, Jesus. I know that God's coming soon. I want to be ready. Amen. 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 He's coming back. Amen. He's coming back. What if Noah would have failed from the scheme of the dead? No doubt. And you know the devil had to kill Noah. Noah, you lost your mind. Mm -hmm. He kills me out. Mm -hmm. But you and I ain't built a heart out your size. Come on. on the football field. That's right. In the desert. You think of that. But could you imagine what the devil's telling Noah? No, you lost your mind. The people are laughing at him, talking about him. But Noah wasn't about to quit working. Was he? Mm -hmm. he wasn't going to let the devil cause him to believe a lie. That's right. He knew the devil's device was good. <coughs> he kept her hammering, kept her going until he got her done. Yes. That's right. That's what we when got he got her done, God moved him in the heart. Mm -hmm. God's fixing to move us in our new mansion. Amen. We can be laughed at. We can be talked about. We can say you're crazy for the way you believe. No, I'm not crazy. I just know who my God is. Amen. He's able to keep us. Amen. What if Abraham would listen to the devil on his way to Moriah? You know, the devil talked to Abraham. Uh -huh. yep. I promise you, he talked to Abraham. Abraham, you know that wasn't God told you to take your little son that he gave you to take up on the mountain to kill. Now, you know that wasn't God. If the devil told any of you all that there ain't no need to pray, uh -huh. ain't no need to go to church, but there's something since you got to Amen. Amen. And Abraham kept right on going. He knew the voice of God. He did. And I love the Lord tonight, and I appreciate you. And as I give it back to you, Pastor, give the Lord a hand. said it started a long time ago, persecution against the name. Amen. Well, not very far in Acts, here's what they was told. It says, saying that we shall do to these men, for that indeed noble miracle has been done by them that is manifest. To all them that dwell in Jerusalem, we cannot deny it. Here's what they was told. But that it spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them, that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all or teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye, for we cannot speak but the things which we have seen and heard. The name of Jesus has been picked on for many years. Two, well, 2,000 years. If Jesus was crucified 2,000 years ago, then it's been right. It wasn't very long after he was crucified that they was already told. Already told. Amen. And the same ones that told them there would go into synagogues on every Lord's Day and stand. I love the Lord. Thank you for his revelation, don't you? Amen. By his name. He's a good God. How many joined the word? Amen. Yeah, I mean, that's good work. That is good work. Good work. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Well, if Bo keeps on, he's going to get called to preach. <laughs> Amen. Practice. Amen. He's doing good today. We appreciate yeah. the truth. Yeah, we appreciate it. Appreciate him and his wife. It's a, yes. It's a, uh, it is. It's just as much on the wife as they feel. They feel the what's coming against them too and mm -hmm. telling the truth and doing things they really do. It bothers them as well as it does the man of God. And uh, they, they, they fight the same struggle. So they really do. They, they go through it together. It's just help me. That's what they do. They're there to help. My wife told me the other day, she said, I'll be there to hold up your arms most. It's whatever you say to do. Amen. Amen. That's what we do. Amen. Uh, as long as he holding up Moses' arm, they're in the battle. That's right. Amen. That's right. They're in the battle. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. But when he laid his arms down, they start being to lose. So they have some there to hold them up, help them hold them up. We need them. Got to get behind the man of God and support them. Got to be with them and pray for them. Let the Lord give them exactly what, what's needed. That's Amen. right. That's needed. Amen. All right. 
Anyone else to say, does anyone need anything for God prior? I know a lot of people pray for this and that, but if you I do. I remember Daddy. I remember uh, Buddy Dreamer. I believe the Lord called will be another, a Lord Junior in his ministry. Yeah. Amen. Doesn't get wild on us, is it? I will deliver his heart and work on you. Amen. That's good. He knows it, doesn't he? Yeah. That's good. Amen. He's hungry. He, he's hungry. Oh, I know. He told me one day I went up there and working on that truck, and he told me, he said, I want whatever he's got. Amen. He said, I want it bad. He's serious about life. That's good. That's what it takes, man. It takes a hunger. Yeah. Yeah. He said, he's hungry for those that are right. He'll be filled. He shall be filled. If you hunger after him, but he'll fill you. She will. That's a promise. Reason people won't be filled, they ain't hungry enough. They, can hear it. they want just enough to say, I'm going to heaven. That night. Yep. And that's it, then they're satisfied. They're done with it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I always want a second place. <laughs> you? <laughs> like in second place. Amen. All right. The Lord's good today. Thank you. Thank the Lord for the word. Everybody give the Lord a hand clap.